write an equation for a sine function with an amplitude of 2 and a period of pi over 2. On the grid below, sketch the graph of the equation in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so the amplitude is equal to 2, the mm -hmm. period is equal to pi over 2. I'm running out of power, but it's okay, I have enough for this video. Uh, so we need to know the uh, conversion from period to frequency, and the conversion is this. The period is equal to 2 pi over f. So if, uh, if I take this and um, the, the, the period value that I know, I have pi over 2 is equal to 2 pi over f, I can solve for f. f, therefore, is going to equal to 4. All right, so the, uh, the question here says to write a sine function, right? So therefore, y is equal to, the amplitude value is 2. So we say 2 sine of 4x. That's all it is. Again, the leading coefficient for a sine and cosine function, that is the amplitude. The coefficient in front of the x, that is the frequency value. Okay, I am going to use a slightly thicker pen here to draw on this. So we're graphing this from 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to make that even thicker. Okay, so from 0 to 2 pi, psi starts off at the origin. And then we're going to go, uh, let's make every 3. So actually, let's not do every 3. Let's do every 4. So here and here. Okay, so we have 1 and 2, and then 2, 4 negative 1, and negative 2. Okay, so, and also let's subdivide this into intervals of 4. So we have 0, pi over 2, uh, I'm sorry, not 0. So this will be pi, and then finally 2 pi. Okay? All right, so... The sine function starts at the origin. I'm going to use a different color. Let's use uh, let's use green. We start at the origin and then we go up, hit the max, come down, hit the midline, and then we hit the minimum, and then we come back to the midline. So that's our sine function there. And this is y is equal to 2 sine of 4x.